Welcome to another video of Playing Man! Today I'm going to be making a rail right here for my house. This is a year later when I made these pillars and they are standing very good. The one mistake I did make was not anchoring them to the concrete. I just placed them there and used the weight of the uh, roof right there to hold them in place. And so they're twisting a little bit. But other than that, and a little bit of gaps opening up here and there, it's holding up really well. My supplies consists of some two by twos, a two by four if I need, a four by four. This guy, I was gonna make my own, but I was like, eh, they got it all worked out for me, so that's gonna be the rail. And I got some Tapcon concrete anchor screws. First I'm gonna find the angle of my stairs by using this little guy. This is really cool, guys. Look, it gives you your angle. It says 32.7. So I'm gonna transfer these measurements so I know where to drill my hole. See what I'm doing there? I didn't purchase long enough Tapcon screws for the 4x4, so it's not gonna make it all the way through. So I'm gonna drill a hole halfway into here. Now this is the exciting part for me. I get to drill a hole into concrete. I've never done this before with a hammer drill. First time ever owning one of these. This is the new uh, DeWalt Flex bolt. So you can do like rigger drilling, or you can switch it to hammer drill. Well, guys, the bit doesn't get down that low without going at an angle. So I'm gonna have to go a little bit higher and then drill a new hole in my 4x4. You guys missed it, but I got that one nice and secure in there. Now I gotta anchor it down at the bottom and I made like a little toenail here. I'm gonna cut my hand around the angle that I measured before and it was 32.5, I went back and did it again. I'm gonna get that same angle again, 32.5. Up there, so I need to cut that board at 34. All right, cut a piece to fit here. I'm going to uh, round off the edges with my router. Skip ahead about an hour, guys, and I got my ledger board attached to the concrete, which I'm gonna attach the railings to down here. I lifted my railing from here to here. I felt like it was too low. And actually it worked out, because it's leaning on here. It gives a little bit more support. And it probably just looks a little better. Now I gotta just put the railings on. But this one will just hold it up to the final screws on. This piece is too short, so I may have to make my own, or I don't know what I'm gonna do. Oh, actually, buddy, I could use this piece. I'll just use that to wedge yeah. under there, like that. Like a little weapon. I'll just staple it in there. Daddy, sorry. Thanks for the help, Alright, guys, I'm to the final step. I'm not sure about this right here. Gotta recut that just to support the end part right there. But it is sturdy. You just need to cut this, you can cut it wherever you want. I don't know if there's a standard for this, but I'm just gonna cut it here, eyeball it, and put the cap right on top of there. And then the cap goes right there. Oh wow, that looks great. Not really straight though. That'll fit right in there. Looks something like that at the bottom. And that is it, guys. That's the railing. Here's what I did down here. I anchored this piece to this piece, so that makes it even stronger. Anchored in the ground and here. And then, uh, yeah, screwed all these in with some deck decking screws. And then just use my nail gun to uh, nail those in place so they don't wiggle at all. All right, guys, I'll catch you next time. Thanks for joining me for another Playman video. 
Hope you learned something here. Um, in my next video, I'll show this completed, painted, and uh, completely done. We'll see you guys next time. And get out there and play man. Hey guys, I'm back and I'm done with the job. There it is. Isn't it beautiful? I did some work on it since you guys last saw it. So I obviously painted it to match my posts. And I had the railings here attached to a, a ledger board which was screwed to the concrete as you can see. And I didn't like how it looked so I took it out and I made it work where I could use just a handrail on the bottom. So now it really looks like a handrail. Again guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time for another Playing Man video. Oh, also, do you like the uh, shutters I put up today?